Police and riot gear in Occupy Denver. Protesters are clashing again, and we are following it for you live. A 90s photojournalist was in Civic Center Park on another story when he found himself in the middle of a face-off between police and protesters. An officer shot a steady stream of pepper spray there into the crowd. Then come rubber bullets. This man got some of the spray in his face. People near him trying to help, calling for more water to help flush out his eyes. Let's get the latest now from 9 News reporter Nelson Garcia. He is live at Civic Center Park downtown. And Nelson, there were some tense moments there. There were definitely some tense moments, and that was just about a little over an hour, hour and a half ago. Things are still pretty tense right now, but as you can see right behind me, the crowd is still there. Things have calmed down quite a bit. Broadway remains closed as dozens of police officers in riot gear have occupied the space taken by the occupied Denver protesters. All the action started just after 3 o'clock when police tried to get a man to take down a tent in Civic Center Park. The only thing that happened is the asses. Making arrests, the crowd started to push in on them. Officers fired rubber bullets into the crowd as well as pepper spray and mace. As you can imagine, this got the crowd even more agitated, spurring Denver police to bring in more and more officers in riot gear. Eventually, things settled down when police were able to form a circle and separate the crowd. But if you ask protesters, they say police escalated the situation unnecessarily. Only thing that happened is they asked us to take a tent down. Some kid was standing too close to him. They just started attacking everybody, spraying people with mace, arresting them. We did nothing. This is supposed to be a peaceful protest, and they're attacking us. Um, unfortunately, at one point, that group did try to occupy the Capitol, which is illegal. We made sure that they knew that. Um, it was pretty clear that they weren't allowed to do that. They tried to do it anyway. So we had to step in and push them off. Things escalated. We did have to call out uh, citywide for assistance. Lieutenant Matt Murray with Denver Police says in the end, seven people were arrested for various charges, including interfering with police officers. As you can see, the crowd is still here in front of the Capitol. They are standing face to face with the line of police officers who are out there blocking off Broadway right now. Photojournalist Corky Scholl just happened to be here shooting the flags at half staff in front of the Capitol when all this started. He told me he was caught in the middle, getting shoved by police and also by protesters shoved from both sides. Thankfully, he is okay. And at this point, we don't have any reports of serious injuries. Eric. Nelson, we saw some, at least one man on the ground with those plastic ties behind right. his back. Do you have a, a count of maybe the number of arrests that were made? Were there any? Yeah, uh, Lieutenant Matt Murray says there were seven arrests made. That was uh, probably the first arrest that was made. I believe that gentleman was the person who was had his tent set up and they were trying to take that down. But after that, when things got crazy, they did arrest more people, including people who really tried to take on police. Seven Today, we've had 23 a couple Thursdays ago and 24 overnight, so we're looking at uh, around 60 arrests now from the Occupy Denver movement. All right, That's thanks right, a lot, Nelson. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Nelson. We wanted to give you another perspective here. This is Broadway right now. As Nelson was reporting, Broadway is shut down at the moment. And, and from this perspective, you can see how many patrol cars there are and officers still there. And there are far more there that we just can't see from this vantage point. So again, Broadway is closed. We'll continue to monitor this for you throughout the evening.